today is quite an exciting day because we are off to the True Domes HQ where they are launching their new show domes. So we've been invited up and a few True Domes customers and um, some local businesses are going for a kind of like a little afternoon tea opening event. So we're going to be filming as we go. We will take you around and show you their brand new show domes. Should be quite a fun day. Should be, yeah. I would just go for it and wait for somebody to tell us we're in the wrong place. Ta-da! Right, we're here and here at the show domes. We've found Kelda and um, so we're at the True Domes HQ. Um, and yeah, so these are permanently set up now, are they, for people to come and see? Yes, they are. So finally, we've been wanting to do this for a really long time, to be perfectly honest. Um, but it's uh, we've been going through a, a period of growth. Um, we've acquired the premises next door. Oh, uh, okay, so this was always the original yeah, premises, was so it? Yeah, so this is the original building here. So JDL Products is kind of where we came from. So our, we've been going for sort of 30 plus years as an engineering business, making things out of aluminium, all kinds of things out of aluminium. So that's kind of where we started. So these are the offices at the front. Yeah. Um, round to the side, you've kind of got the goods in, goods out department. Oh, uh, okay, so this is where all the domes get shipped from. Yeah, so all the domes, Oh wow, okay. From here. Oh yes, recognise um, all the uh, so bags of insulation. The loading bay area and then kind of behind there and it goes quite a lot further yeah. back. Oh right. All the manufacturing happens behind that door there and all through that there. And we've got a mezzanine floor through oh, there wow. as well. So there's actually two floors of manufacturing. So that's where all the metal manufacturing is. Yeah. Then. Um, and we've now moved our PVC welding machines into the one of the premises next door. Okay. So it used to be where that fence is there. This is our premises sort of stopped there. Yeah. Um, but we've we've just we've moved the fence so we can have this sort of area for the yeah. Fence. And then yeah, we've now got the premises next door as well. Oh, so that's brilliant. We've emptied the car park today because we've got lots of people coming. We're still a working factory, so there's still you know there's lots yeah. of there's lots of stuff around here but yeah we're all kind of just parked next door and so yeah on show now we permanently have an eight meter we have our 4.4 our compact dome and we also have a six meter dome that's just kind of tucked behind it brilliant so we don't have the seven meter unfortunately but hopefully if you see an eight and you see a six yeah you can get the you can idea kind of visualize what yeah the, what the in between one is so cool yeah, that. amazing okay so i'm just going to show you in the show dome so this is the compact 4.4 meter um, really which <laughs> they've oh they've got a little tiny oh that is the world's cutest stove isn't it so that's their anna Bay stove Hello. um and you can like comfortably get a double bed in here we've actually got a double bed and a single in here so um yeah here's the mini one and then i'm gonna go through the red ribbon i don't know if this is allowed i'm just gonna sneak and show you the, um, oh, look at the afternoon tea set up. That looks amazing. Um, so here we are in the eight metre. So they've got the skylight. This is the same one I think as they had in um, the, one of the shows. Um, this I also really like, a nice big hanging rail. Might need to order one of these for one of the domes. Um, and then I feel like they've actually moved this slightly further that way, um, the mezzanine level and the bathroom. So here's... The little shower room it actually all feels massively spacious so this is going to be our next stone that we buy is an eight meter one and then this um the ladder's up here so you can go up to the mezzanine level and then lovely things like a dressing table they've done loads of innovation so like with this opening window which is really cool so we definitely have that if we've got the eight meter i actually really like the uh, lipstick curtains and the jute insulation i mean i think that's really nice so um yes and they've got another bit bigger stove in here so that looks really nice um, yeah so uh, I'm quite excited about all this cake <laughs> so this door is also really like brand new stable door which I think we might even think about swapping our doors for because it's a really nice 
quality door and um, probably will be easier to lock and stuff. So apparently we just got to switch around how our door frame is and then we can install these ones, which is quite good. I'm gonna sneak back through the red ribbon. <laughs> so round the back, they've also got a six metre dome set up. Um, let me see if I'm allowed in. So this is a six metre, I think. It feels massive. I know ours probably feels quite small because we've got the massive beds and everything in it um, and we're sleeping five, but um, they've got the, the little cute Amave stove here. Um, nice double bed and I really like the the two-tone insulation that they've done a different insulation around the door and around the bottom layer and then they've done the creamier insulation around there so it's all like really good ideas um, here's a solar vent we've got a couple of these we still need to install um, it's so easy to do but it definitely helps because you can then keep that air flowing in the dome and you don't get um, any condensation or anything like that so yeah six meter looking beautiful so it's amazing how they managed to set up a like midi glamping site in the car park. Um, it all looks very efficient with like the decking all around. That looks really nice. Um, so this one's gone on a round base, which is how we do ours. I really like the way they've kind of done this on a round base and then put the decking all around so you could extend the decking. Looks really cool. It's a shame it's so windy. But they're just setting up some um, teas and coffees here. Um, how's it going? Are you all ready? Oh, it's <laughs> always sunny, isn't there? I know, <laughs> but it looks really good. Like the domes look amazing, so I think it'll all be fine. Have Vicky and Brian from Tractors and Cream with us as well. Uh, Hi. They are our existing <laughs> customers. They have seven of our domes of various sizes. So if you want to ask real life customers about what that's like, we've got Vicky and Brian here. We've also got Gareth and Charlie from K Man that have to join us as well. And we're really grateful and really glad that you guys were able to join us. Thank you so much. Are there any opening day discounts today? Yeah. You don't talk about discounts. No. Yeah, opening day discounts, opening day offers. Louise is got you covered don't need to go home empty handed as well there's a goodie bag for everybody so hopefully we can get a bit warmer inside the domes have some food and go away with a have had a nice time hopefully despite the cold <laughs> thank you very much and thank you for the introduction first, first i want to thank you trudeau for inviting me to do this um it's the first time i've ever cut a ribbon so <laughs> I really feel <laughs> they're striving to be a successful and responsible and profitable British manufacturing business every single day that they open these factories here that we're all going to experience later today. Made in Britain is very proud to boast more than 2,000 members um, like True Domes, all using the official mark. Uh, it's there on my lapel. And they use it in thousands of different ways so that the British public and those overseas receiving the export products know exactly what is made here and exactly who is making it. Make a decision based on trust, value and great <coughs> British manufacturing excellence that you will experience here at True Domes. Thank you. Don't you worry, yeah, we've got our... Right, are we ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> so we've basically just been chatting and eating it's been really rather lovely it's been lots of lovely food i'm halfway through my uh victoria sponge which is very nice so um yeah we've met lots of different people it's been quite nice and fun i'm a bit gutted we have to drive three hours back to uh get the kids but um yeah it's been a really lovely day and it's all gone really well gone well hasn't it yes very good <laughs> Goodie bags, this is exciting. What's what's in the goodie bag? Wait for it. <gasps> da, 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 da. Oh, wow. A true dames picnic blanket, no way. That is amazing. I'm very impressed. And, uh, and then just brochures and things. Amazing, thank there you very you much.
How exciting. So then we had quite a lot of fun taking photos in Trudeau's giant deck chair. This is Ollie, who's building the resort in Scotland that we went and filmed in February. And this is us with Kanan Glamping and the guys from Trudeau's. Then Keldon and I got in and Brian decided to film us trying to get out. We had such a fun day and ate far too much cake. Yeah, right, it's time to go home now. Thank you ever so much for having us. It was super fun. And thanks for feeding us too. Thanks for coming. And it's great to meet Kane and Glamping as well. Very exciting. Um, so yeah, we'll probably see you at the Glamping show. Of course. In September. Will you be there? Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> um, fab, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.